Yeah, in balanced view, we are um, we get the opportunity to view our reality in a complete new and upgraded way, completely fresh and upgraded. We upgrade our intelligence. We upgrade the use in how we use our mind, our intelligence, completely. If we are used to using our intelligence in the way that we focus in on all our data streams, like all our thoughts, emotions and sensations, we see how all our energy of the mind, all the beneficial energy of the mind is zoomed into describing, rearranging, changing, changing all the data streams that comes up for us, so all our thoughts, emotions and sensations. But now we are introduced to such a powerful way of the use of our mind in the way that we can just allow everything to be as it is where we don't need to focus in on all the the data that come up for us we don't need to use our energy in that way we are empowered to use our energy most beneficially for the benefit of all and that we do by just allowing everything to be as it is the natural flow of all our data stream. They can do whatever they want and we just totally relax into that flow of the data dance completely. There's nothing to do with all our data. Nothing. For uh, us to have complete um, well-being and life satisfaction, we don't need to change any circumstance, any data stream. No data poses a threat to our well-being or our potency. Not a single data stream, no matter if it's physical data stream, no matter if it's all I our ideas about the world or what the body is, no matter if we are sad or happy or grieve or whatever comes up for us, we see it's not a threat to open intelligence. Open intelligence, the ground of being, our, comp our true identity, and that what, that's what we are identifying ourselves with when we rely on open intelligence for a short moment repeated many times. That's the single instruction we receive here. And to that we always come back again and again to take a short moment repeated many times of open intelligence, intelligence identifying that open intelligence is inseparable from all our data streams. So when I first came to the meeting I had I had no idea what a short moment is and, and I tried to, okay, I, I tried to stop think. So that was the instruction, stop thinking for a moment. And I tried that and, well, I couldn't really do it. The next thought came in, like, how can I stop thinking and, and uh, oh, what is that now? And, okay, so, but I tried. So I was instructed to stop thinking for a moment and see what remains. So I did that and I recognized that something about me is always present, is always alert. And then I saw oh, this open intelligence is also present when I'm thinking. In each thought that I have, there's this alertness, clarity, never goes anywhere. Wow, and I just didn't recognize it because I was so caught up in my thoughts, emotions and sensations that that, that, that was missed. That open intelligence that is always present. Okay, so then I was introduced to open intelligence and so then the next instruction was to just, whenever I remember to do it, to take a short moment. So always just when I remember to do it. So in the, initially the first day I maybe remember three times because I was doing all my daily activities and I totally forgot about it. But something rang very true when I came to the meeting and I couldn't really grasp it. But I tested it out. So I just tested it out. I came back to the meetings. I tested it out again and again. And then I was reminded more of the short moments because I came back again and again. And I'm like, ah, okay, there was a short moment. So when I went off into all my data stream and then I, oh, okay, there's a short moment. I can stop for a moment right there. Recognize that open intelligence is also always present. So we repeat that again and again. And pretty quickly it just becomes more and more natural to us, more and more effortless to take a short moment in our daily life until these short moments become continuous. It's so natural to us. 
And then, I, then for me it was like, it seemed like the short moments were continuous, but then suddenly th something came up. And so, ah, okay, then I was, oh, I need to take a short moment again. So I took a short moment again. And so it was really just this, this easeful getting to know ourselves as open intelligence through the support of the Four Mainstays. The Four Mainstays that always bring us back to that rec recognition of open intelligence again and again, and that we can trust completely, to train it up, to really give ourselves that time to test if open intelligence is really always on in every experience that we have. That's what we basically do. We just test it out and see for ourselves in our direct experience. We all need to test it out for ourselves in all our data streams. And in that way, all our data streams are the perfect opportunity to recognize open intelligence. I always wanted to have different data streams. All my life I wanted to have different data streams. So I also, when I came here, I thought, if I would just have the data stream of that person, then I would be just so at ease and, ah, oh, it would be so easy, such a breeze. But then I realized, wow, actually, the ones that came up for me were the perfect opportunity. They were the most empowering data streams. No longer did I need to change anything of my experience to feel completely at ease. I was always looking in, in how to change or would I just have a different life or different circumstances. But now I got the opportunity to really see that the ease is within all circumstances, all data streams. And exactly the one data streams that I really never wanted to have, those were my greatest empowerment. I felt so more and more empowered to allow this data to be as it is. These are allowed me to just open up more and more, to tap into my potency as a human being, really open up to those skillful means that are always naturally available to us in a very natural way, very natural way. And in that, just my confidence opened up more and more. Not a contrived self-confidence that I always try to have all my life that were based on what other people think of me, how I look in, 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 in situations or the thought that I need to be strong and like cool or, or needed to be a certain way that was based on an identity. No, more and more this confidence just opened up very naturally, so natural, with not needing to hold on to any data stream not needing to look a certain way also, that confidence. Just more and more this responsiveness in each moment to know what will be of most benefit, however it will look, however it looks. So that's really powerful that we see, we just settle into more and more into that natural confidence that we all have, that we all have access to so naturally. Everyone, every single person has that ability to tap into that. It's right there. We just need to recognize it. We don't even need to tap into anything. We just recognize it in our, our own direct experience that that is the case. It is so for everyone. And, and that always allowed me to really rest deeply. Rest deeply with everything that came up for me. Also the data that, oh no, for me it will look different and for me it's much more exhausting because of my data or it's more challenging. All these data just to really allow those to completely to settle. There doesn't need to be a certain circumstance for us to be completely powerful, even if our data scream something completely different. It doesn't matter what our data says, what we describe. Our power, our power to know and to be of benefit, always present, and that we just open up to in a very natural and easeful way through relying on open intelligence, through coming back to that simple instruction of taking a short moment repeated many times whenever we naturally remember to do so, and to train it up with the support of the four mainstays, that network, that support network that is always available for us. Never fail us. The short moments has never failed us. Um, all the four mainstays has never failed me. Always was there for me, every time. Every time I checked in, there it was, blazing. Four mainstays, just wanting to empower me, to bring the best out of the potential that I have as a human being. It's amazing how that really just 
just opens up for, for us, if we just just remaining open in that, really committing ourselves to, to, to be of benefit. That was, I mean, when I came to the training, the word commitment sounded very unattractive. I never wanted to be committed to anything, not really to a relationship, even though I wanted to be in a relationship, I thought it was scary to commit my whole life to a person. Like, wow, how can that be? And then all kinds of these com commitments to, to everything, basically, to a job, or I could never be committed to a long job, or to, I mean, it was always such a scary thought. And, but what I saw is, just by, but when I came to this training, what I'm committing to here is to my own well-being and to be of benefit. Well, that is something I could really commit to, because that's something I really wanted for myself. Committing to my own well-being, it's, it's, that's so easy. That's actually all that we want to do, to our own well-being and to be of benefit. So that equaled my commitment at one point when I realized that, that it's just about that commitment for myself, first of all, and then that opened up to my commitment to be of benefit to all, then it wasn't that scary anymore. Then it was really that, like, wow, actually, yeah. I could really open up that, that fear of committing to something and turn it into my commitment of to be of benefit. That energy of, of fear of not wanting to be fixed in something, that was that not wanting to be boxed into something. And so I, I thought, okay, what, what are we learning here? We are learning here to open up all our data streams so we are not fixed into our data stream, that we're not committed to our data stream anymore. We open up that commitment to reification completely. Wow. Okay, so I commit to that completely, to be of benefit and open up all this reification that has tied me down so much, tied me down in how, how I responded to people, tied me down in how I could use my potency as a human being, thinking that all my data stream have a meaning in and of themselves. Wow. I had enough of that then. And so, okay, what, what is my choice there? The choice is to be of benefit and commit to that. Okay, so that I could do. And, and that just, this commitment just naturally opened up more and more. It's a natural process. It didn't happen for me from the first meeting I cam came and then it just was a natural ongoing process of opening, but just te through testing it in my di own direct experience. That was the most convincing for me and, and, and most powerful, just to test that out in my own direct experience. And that's what we're all invited to do here, is just to test that out and see for ourselves what benefits we receive in taking these short moments, really rec recognizing open intelligence as the ground of everything, nothing left out. And then we see and we go from there. So it's really committing to one moment at a time. That's all we need to commit to, one moment at a time. Recognizing that we are just that powerful human beings, that we just want to open up that power that we have as human beings and contribute it to the world in an effortless way. Being of benefit is very effortless. It just takes over with us n not needing to do anything. It's just whoosh an explosion of wanting to just contribute what we all have to contribute. So in that we can just relax deeply and just allow it to unfold in its own pace, for everyone different pace. It doesn't matter. We just rec focus on ourselves, taking the short moment and see how it just naturally opens up in that way.